How do we make sure that uh, individuals are ready for these wonderful evolving opportunities that are being created? We work together. We build vibrant partnerships that take advantage of all that you know in terms of what is occurring within your respective companies and industries. I think Y Texas has a very important role uh, bringing CEOs of Texas companies together to focus on important public policy issues and education of course is today's highlight. We want many more industry leaders to be involved as experts in the classroom or by providing internships and job shadowing opportunities to students and they can sign up with Campus to Careers or NEPRIS to be part of the pilot with our schools here in Central Texas. The one thing that attracted me to this event is how our community leaders, our CEOs, are coming together to help um, spark and, and grow our educational resources here in the state of Texas. If you take all the issues, put all the issues on the table, education should rise up to the top, um, especially because if that's the next generation that, you know, if we give them the right tools and the training and the exposure, they are the ones who are going to drive the economy in the future. E3 Alliance is hosting a pilot of 14 schools to systematize work-based learning, and we featured that pilot today to get more and more industry partners involved. CEOs care about these issues, and uh, they're also willing to uh, put a step forward and, and, and contributing uh, to, a, to a problem or, or an issue that needs to be dealt with on both sides of the coin. Industry needs to be involved in helping these kids understand what it's like to be out in the real world. The whole point of the pilot that we featured today is we're systematizing it and making it easy for industry to engage with students and to engage with schools in a way that's very effective. So if you just go to the E3 Alliance website, we can point you to ways to make it very easy to engage in education and help build that future workforce.